Hello there, this is episode two for Nox, our Dwarven Defender for Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. This is our insane difficulty hardcore run. If and when Nox is knocked out, uh, we will start a brand new character, but I think Nox is going to make it nice and long. If you agree with me, leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel. So, we're going to go ahead and... Um, the big thing I want to do is I want to get, obviously, his XP as high as possible before we start recruiting people, and that means we're going to be traveling around the world. I think I have a party in mind that I want to try out and see. Um, has a lot of uh, uh, distinguished gentlemen. Um, however, they are gentlemen of ill repute. So, but... Uh, when I do a lot of the fighting I, or want to do a lot of these quests, I want to try aiming for quests that don't involve a lot of combat. So, let's go ahead and maybe make our way down south. Right then. Let's go this way. Okay. Right then. If I play my cards right... Now, obviously, when I say don't fight, right, if I run into critters along the way or if I run into enemies along the way, you know, that is what it is. Like these kobolds. Here, Miss. Both of us are missing each other. There we go. Goodbye. Throwing axes pack a punch, but they are also um, slow to use. So, take that as you will. Firewind Bridge, and yeah, let's go Firewind Bridge first. Um, I want to wait a little bit. Could I get the bracers now? I could try to get the bracers now. Get myself killed. Let's hold off on getting the bracers. Um, until just a little bit. Right then. We can at least go here and search some of these tombs. Open up areas and whatnot. I think this opens up. Yeah, opens right up there. Watch me go. We can go to. There's one particular tomb that has. Um, an undead fella. That we're not going to fight. We can give him a stagger. Uh oh. We can't pass that way. Too far down the map, are we? Oh, we're pretty far. There's a couple of ank eggs in a certain area. I want to avoid the ank eggs, obviously, because ank eggs are scary. Lots of things in this game are scary. Perfect, okay. Right then. Lots of things are scary, and as long as I don't have a magic weapon. It's going to be even scarier. Here, it's right around here. Okay. No. Let's bash his head. Stupid dog face. There you go. Starting to rain. I scared you to rain. Right. How far? Don't want to go too far uh, west because there is a crazy mage that I want to fight later. Here we go. These guys are armed with bows. I'm not worried about bows. All super easy.
Okay. Then just bring the dagger back. Must uh, take your dagger and let us be. There you go. 900 experience points. Didn't need to swing my axe. Yeah, and I get some nice stuff out of it. Okay. <laughs> exactly the carrying things that I don't have. You know what? I'll just put the put the ring on. There we go. Now I'm a charmer. Now I'm a charmer. And there are other tombs in this area. I'm going to hold off on going into those other tombs until I have um, a thief. Right, Jack. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Watch me go. Watch him go. Useful gadgets there you I are. have. I have yes, those. I do. There you go. Got a scroll. I got a scroll. Chat with the flaming fist soldier. Soldier. He is a soldier. I mean, like, if you're a mercenary, you're also a soldier. You're just a different kind of soldier. Samuel the Deserter. Is there anything south? Thought there was uh, something south. No. There's nothing to the south. Nothing to the south except for those dirty Amian barbarians. I'm kidding. The Amians are fine. Let's see, there is a stash. I'm trying to remember where the stash is. It's along one of these cliff edges. There we go. Speak and it shall occur. Star Sapphires. Alright. Now we're going to pick up the deserter and bring him all the way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There we will not meet Khalid and Jahira. But we will come back to this area afterwards. Hi, Lena. How are you? Sorry about your friend. Oh, I'm slowed. Really? Hmm. Gonna dump some of this stuff. Shoot. That's pretty terrible. Like, really? This kind of sucks. That royally sucks. Um, yeah, do what you gotta do, right? That royally sucks. Okay, as far as, like, how bad it is, it's not, like, terrible. It's kind of obnoxious, though. Make our way all the way up to Friendly Arm Inn. Oh, and we weren't stopped on the way. Nice. Avoid tarnish for the for the time being. We probably could take tarnish at this point. 
Uh, we have enough HP to basically tank anything he can do to us. But... What are you gonna do about it, right? 744. I think I have enough cash. Oh, I am so freaking close. I'm so freaking close. You know what? I'm gonna go and do the water bowl now. Okay, water bowl up here. Let's see. Whose back am I gonna break first? You. <laughs> Spice gonna level up! Ah! <laughs> Alright, now. I think I'm gonna increase Warhammer. And then, you know, because at this point, I've got like 51 HP. I pretty much can be in melee with a lot of things in this game. You're alive? Gordon's alive? Yeah, well, worship a uh, evil god. Win evil god prizes. I could probably take care of the zombies too, and that will probably bring me up to uh, level four. You have been waylaid by enemies. Oh, okay. Let's boogie. You didn't want a boogie. Okay. Sometimes a dog just needs to be bopped on the nose. That dog shall recover. He'll live a long and healthy life. At least I'd like to think so. Alright. Let's break into some stuff. Get some cash. Alright. Do I fight the Ankeg or do I just walk past him? I'm kind of thinking walk past him at the moment. Right at the moment. No, wrong. All right, yeah, right, walk past him. Okay, let's take care of some zombies. Zombie time. They're gonna hit me a few times, I'm not worried. I got tons of HP. I'm more worried about my weapon breaking. They got minus two to hit me, that's amazing. This might be the quickest that I've uh, done this quest, because I always do it when my characters are uh, low level. They rolled an 18 and they missed. I, however, roll a 20 right after I roll a 1. See, it took a little damage, and that's okay. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know if we're gonna fully make it all the way there, but we'll get really close to level four by the time we do this. This is what you all tuned in to watch. You tuned in to watch me bash zombie skulls. Look, I figure the Evil Dead, I'm sorry, not the Evil Dead, The no, Walking Dead, was a huge pop culture phenomenon, okay? All of what, 10 years ago? <laughs> Nowadays, it's all about Last of Us, which, I mean, different kind of zombies, but yeah, same principle. Good morning coffee. Let's see. Yeah, no zombies around here. There be zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna make it to level level four. Level four or bust? Dun 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 Least intimidating zombies out ever. That is all of them. No, oh, it's not. Let's boogie. I am surprised I did not break my weapon. I don't know. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. Even if I did not turn in this quest, I would uh, still get uh, still get all the way up to level four within like one or two wolves going down Ooh, or something pal. silly like that. Ooh, pal. But. Get some cash. You're gonna get some uh, additional hit points. That's my uh, that go for my throwing axe. 15, that's pretty good actually. All right, what to do now? Do I want to try taking out the Nirid? First off, I want to sell some stuff. So back to Baragost with me. Right, How much XP do I need? Seven. Seven K. Yeah. Okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a cunning plan. It's a shame. I um, one of the sound sets I got was a Black Adder sound set, and the attack make whatever you theme is really bad on it. 
So I'm like, uh, I guess we're not using that. Uh, Solar Star Sapphire. No one has ever told me what's the purpose of the Mithril Ring. Like it's when some mod that I got and I'm supposed to turn it in somewhere and no one has been able to tell me where do I turn it into. <coughs> Excuse me. No one has ever told me. Shame, shame, shame. Does he have like a Warhammer plus one? No, but he does have nice armor. I can find plate mail armor just about anywhere, so I'm not going to go out and buy it right now. But um, I will, however, get 20 more axes. I must sell the flail. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm actually going to rest and then I'm going to uh, handle the. Uh... Actually, you know, I'm going to try handling what's his face, um, Melicamp, and then I'll handle the near it. Kember far enough without ye bothering me. <sighs> Girk, come on, buddy. I got some cheap beer for you. Let's go here first. Done. Oh, that's right. I haven't been to High Head yet. Let's boogie. Split you in two. Yeah. Did you like that? Did that feel good? Did that feel good? Was that a good time for you? Felt great to me. The big thing I want to do here is just open up the area to the um, uh, to the west. So I can take care of the knitted. Do I do that right now or do I do Melicamp? I think I'll do Melicamp first. I'll be ready for the disappointment. Open up the area to the west and then I'll take care of Melicamp. Hey, handsome. Go to sleep. Not going to sleep. Go to sleep. Now I take care of the knitted. Oh, a wolf. Down, doggy. Wolf gets plus zero. At least with the Melicamp quest, I'm guaranteed 120 experience points. Actually, no, 120 plus whatever a skeleton is. Don't know if you have plenty of space. Plenty of space. Watch me go. Find a skelly boy. 
make life a little easier for me, but you know what? Sometimes skelly boys are hard to find. Hello, pal. Nobody asked you. Go away. <sighs> Enjoy the flesh golem, moron. I don't have a stutter. I just stutter naturally. Alright. My Thacko with uh with the hammer. Thacko is twelve with the hammer. Put the hammer down. Might run into the spider before. Yeah, I ran to the spider. Come here, you wretch! I split you in two. Watch the spider is gonna be the thing that hits me. Nope, it's not. Alright. Oh, man. Where are the skeletons hiding? Fellas. I just want one of your skulls. There we go. Skull for the skull throne! Yay! There you go. Good boy. Now I'm going to run the skeletons all over the place. What is in here? Can't recall ever coming in here. Darn. Huh. Very interesting. I'm like really intrigued. I want to see what's in there. When I get a thief, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna open that up. I know exactly who who I'm gonna pick up as my thief. All right. Where we go? All right, Thalantir. I be Thalantir, a mighty maid. Why do I live in such a pissant town? I might be smarter than Thalantir. All right. Here we go, 50-50 chance. Roll that die. Drum roll, please. And he's dead. Wop wop. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Do I have anything? Uh, no, I'd need to, uh... Why do I live in such a pissant town? I would need two, um, what are they called? Um, oh my gosh, what can't I remember what they're called? Pearls. Yes, those are the things. Pearls. Got a potion case already? Good. I'm um, looking for protection from petrification. There we go. I uh, should have gotten the wand of sleep, but I did not. Actually, you know what? If I sell the diamond here... Yeah, that's actually not a bad thing to do. Sell the diamond here. Um, Basila's passport is really good. Sorry, it's not bad. But uh, Badalista's Badalista's passport is really good. But um, it's not quite what I need at this moment. What's only wands of speed? Who are you? Okay, well. Bummer. Enjoy the dead body, I guess. Alright, let's clean up some inventory space.
All right. Oh, you know why I'm here. Just for my own completionist sake. Why do I live in such a pissant town? I want to identify this ring. I know I don't need to, but doing it. All right, now I'm going to take care of the Nerid. For better or for ill. For stupider or for wiser. Okay. And yes, maybe I am going to waste a... Uh, oil of speed, but you know what? Yeah, hi, handsome. Ah, oh, see? That's why you get an extra hammer. That is why you get an extra hammer. Or, really, that's why you find a magical hammer. One hour. To help me, oh crap. I am alone on this desolate dry land, and who knows what lurks in these woods. You men cannot hurt me. Ah, I'm a dwarf. Please to help me, will you? I am alone on this desolate dry land, and who knows what Which... I win. Flawless victory. Alright, so now... Oh, a little too much that way. I will talk to the surgeon on the way back. They smelt my dwarf flesh. Oh, that is not what I wanted. And that's also not what I wanted. Where is... Oh. I just walked right into that. What I'm trying to find is Mad Arcand. Right? Mad Arcand. Thanks, handsome. There you are. Oh, you are? No, not I. I know, I know, I know. You guys are following me. Happy I am. Yes, I am. All right, we're done here. You're probably watching at home being like, you pansy, you could take all those ogres. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I can't. <laughs> all right. What is, yeah, 1300. Okay. I'm going to kill some spiders. And kill some spiders. Actually, I could do something that's even easier. Even easier. Done. Why make life harder for yourself? The answer is because we live in the 21st century. Why not make things harder for ourselves? Call We've never had it so good. If I can get one more hit in with the axe and then I'll charge in. Nope. 
No, no, take your time. Not like he's charging you or anything. We need to get a replacement hammer. He swamped me good. Uh, potion case, potion case, gem case, letter. And uh, do I? Yeah. Okay. Much damage do I do with this thing? Eight to eleven. Not great, but you know. Right then. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes that means thwumping some heads. Roger. Salutations. Dear lady of the house, thank you for your ring. We greatly appreciate it. Watch me go. Yes, I shall watch you go. Are you guys still in? When I first came, God. when I first came to, um, right, yes. right, yes. can I actually smash that lock? Nope, can't. Done. My lore increased. Uh, it increases by one. One per level. Done. You want some whiskey? Maybe I can regenerate some HP. Barely regenerated any, but that's okay. Don't worry, when I go after the sirens get myself my uh, my bonus to uh, can to constitution oh boy yeah boy um, that's gonna be great all right and then I want to get a hammer lots of potions I don't want to sell scrolls I don't want to sell Backup hammer. Now yeah, one more backup hammer. They're super cheap, so why the heck not, right? Oh my gosh, excuse me. Okay. Darn. Now at this point, we're going to take care of the spiders. That should bring me all the way up to level four. Five? Yes, level five. Okay. I don't really need to worry too much about their poison. I have so many H, so many uh, hit points that I should be okay, but you know. Nope. Too slow. Okay. I don't want to be... There we go. If I fight two at a time... Oh, that's going to get really annoying when I... Uh... Yeah, that's going to get very annoying when I... <laughs> have, uh, get poisoned. Wait a second. If he er, gets one HP back every time he's injured, does that make him effectively immune to poison? Like, think about that for a moment, right? If he's being ticked for one point of damage every time he gets hit by poison, and it's not all poison, some poisons hit for two or three, then if he gets poisoned, does he, like actually get like does it actually like nullify the damage kind of intriguing um 
Okay, so there's something, by the way, that happens at 5th level. Oh, I can use Defensive Stance at level 5. Of uh, level 4. Uh, something happened at level 5. I think Fighters get something at level 5. I think he gets Power Attack at level 5. Yeah, 85 HP. Oh, yeah. Roger. Somehow, I can't put the spider into the bag of holding. That makes no sense to me. But you know what? Right can't control that, right? All right. But what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? What is his stack with the throwing ax? 14? The question is, is can I take on Silky right now? Can I take on Guard. Silky? Or do I go for... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, boy. Guard. I might regret this. Or I might absolutely love myself for doing it. At first I thought this was the Joe I'm supposed to fight, but nope. It's not. Let's go here. Yeah, because I'm going to be a big damn hero. All right. So. Now, I can fight these guys face to face. You all start running. You might make it out of here alive. What did the Raiders say in Fallout 3? You start running so I can shoot you in the back. It's like, that doesn't encourage me at all. That encourages me to want to hurt you. All right, now in the past, I think just about every time I fought this Joe, I've ended up uh, using a lot of backstabs, right? Or stunning him or something. Oh, nice. Right? Now, I might regret what I'm about to do, but we're about to see the power of a Dwarven Defender. Yes? How long does this last? Two hours? Let's see this power of a Dwarven Defender. Defensive stance, how long does it last? Fifth level. Oof. Saving throws are increased by three. I get 20% uh, resistance to all damage. My effective personal space is doubled. But my movement speed is lowered, which is fine because... Let's boogie. Is that the best you can do? Okay, so I resisted four. He did slashing, uh, 15 slashing damage, so it's not, it's pretty rough. Come on, buddy. One more hit. He's only wearing leather armor, homie. There you go. And you'll see, I'm slow. Huffin' puffin'. Huffin' puffin'. <laughs> it lasted a perfect amount of time. That's great. All right, good job, Nox. Good job. And for that, you get some really nice gauntlets. And a protection scroll, which is nice. All right. 
Let's go to the temple. Watch me go. A twelve hundred experience points for that. I can't uh, complain about that. Actually, I could complain. I can complain about anything I want to. Anything I want to. I mean, if people could complain about <laughs> the Wi-Fi being uh, not available on an airplane, which, by the way, guilty as charged, then uh, I think I can complain about anything. And then we'll heal myself up. That was it. It's kind of lame. All right. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Push him cold. Probably end up selling that. You don't run into all that much cold damage. In this game. I mean, okay, that's a lie. You run into cold damage, but 50%, it, it, you either want to get all or nothing regarding it. You don't want to just be like, oh, 50% uh, reduction in cold damage, right? Now I have, I know that there are spells like Ice Knife out there that do a decent amount of cold damage, but I think I got rid of that spell with the, um, removal of spell modifications so Watch me go. and we'll sell the long sword Dark. and the scroll I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more as well as these extra gems long sword uh, scroll All right. I think it's pretty obvious what I need to get now. Something's Go gonna on. help me out in my endeavors in various caves and various stupid shenanigans. And that's right, the Wand of Sleep, which anybody can use. You know what he hasn't done yet? He hasn't complained about needing to sleep. I mean, I've slept a couple of times. But... Did I break another weapon? Broke another weapon. This is why you carry an extra hammer. Until you get a magical one. Then you don't need to worry about extra hammers at all. Right then. Oh, he cleaned up the Boy, dead body. Nice. A piss -ant town. Good job, buddy. Just wondering when you would take care of that. Uh, itch in my eye. Uh, wand of sleep. Want to sleep. Not many, uh, well, okay. That's basically for the low level Joes that, um, I just want to hit in the head. Let's see, with 1400 needed. Fourteen hundred XP needed. Um, I'm sorry, 14,000. 14,000 needed. Um, I'm going to take care of what's his face and his uh, and Red Sheaf in. I'm going to take care of the uh, Bounty Hunter and then Purdue. Makes me a tiny bit closer. 
then I'll probably rest. And then I'll probably take a break so I have to, you know, go to work and all that jazz. Hmm, I want to rest first. So with 56 HP, I know I don't need to have a huge amount of XP. I mean HP at this point, but you want some whiskey? Doesn't hurt. Happy that that spider's body doesn't decompose. That would be awkward. All right, here we go. Watch me go. Hi, handsome. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Hope you got the will to back those words. Is that the best you can do? No, no, no. See, you got an axe. This. Anytime, Nox. Oh, come on, Nox. You wait right until he comes right into melee. There you go. I win. Backup axe. Just in case you need it. At least then I will have a weapon I am somewhat proficient in. So I got 270 and 500. All right. If I were to take care of the sirens, and if I manage to survive against the sirens, um, and then also manage to survive against the flesh golems, which I can't do because I don't have a magic weapon. Um, if I manage to do all that, then I will, actually, do I? No, I got rid of my longsword, plus one. What to do now? What to do now? Hmm. What to do now? Well, I've been playing the game for a little less than, well, just two episodes. I am essentially right back where I started at the start of this episode. Um, with almost as much HP. Um, I'm going to call it for the day, but I am going to also try to make sure that the videos going from here on in are a bit longer. I'll probably end up uh, having to... I'll figure something out with it. I'll figure something out with it. Um, but right now I want to give a little bit of thought as to where I want to go next um, but if you do like the video and you like the fact that I am trying out all these non-violent quests or minimal violence quests on insane level difficulty to get my character up to an appropriate level to start picking up other goons, then leave the video a like. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, and if you don't like what I do, leave the video a like anyway. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt an ounce, right? If you really like what I do, and you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. But with that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.